Macaulay duration for a bond is calculated as the weighted average of the present values of the cash flows. Now, in order to calculate this, we're just going to use a fictional bond. This one in the example will have a yield or a time to maturity of eight years, a yield to maturity of 6%. So we'll say that's the market interest rate, 6%, and a coupon rate of 5%. So we can see we have periods one through eight. And in each of the first seven periods, you'll be receiving $50 if you hold this bond, which is just the $1,000 notional value of the bond times 5%. The last period, you'll receive the $1,000 notional value, value plus the 5% interest, so you'll get $1,050. Now, for each period, we need to find the present value back to today. So right in period eight, um, we're going to be receiving this amount of money, but we have to discount it eight years at the current market rate to get its present value today. So this will just be um, equal to the uh, cash flow divided by one plus the yield to maturity to the power of the period. So it's one year out. And then for the rest of these, their denominators will increase. So that's the present value for each one. You can see what it looks like for the last one. Now we need to find the weighted present value of each one. So we found the total present value here. Now let's find which, what weight each one contributes to that value. So it'll just be its present value for the period divided by the total. And we'll drag all that down. And you'll see if I sum all of these, it will be equal to 100%. There you go. Now, in order to find the Macaulay duration, we just simply take the period. So how many years out is this cash flow? Multiplied what by what weight does it contribute to the actual present value? And then if we pull all of these down, we'll see that the Macaulay duration is actually 6.74, which means that when market interest rates go up 1%, the price of the bond or value of the bond should fall by seven or 6.74%.